friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make this amazing, beautiful and colorful wall mounting clock from the range Make Your Own Clock. So today's tutorial is the first in the series of Make Your Own Clock and this is how beautiful, bright and glossy our first clock looks. Yes friends, this is a real working clock which is really really easy and simple to maintain and I can guarantee that this beautiful piece will definitely brighten up your space wherever you hang it. And if you're enrolling yourself for the itsy bitsy competition, this clock is a great idea for the home decor collection and you can get all the details about it from the link mentioned in the description box below about the competition. So friends, do try participating in this competition and try posting your entries as soon as possible so it may get more number of likes and hearts and do use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5 to get an additional 5% off while purchasing online from www.itsybitsy.in. Now let's check out all the materials. To make this beautiful clock, First of all, we are going to need a clear acrylic clock face from the Little Birdie clock maker range. This is about 12 inches in size and thickness is about 2 to 3 mm and this is how clean and clear it looks. It's absolutely see-through and looks like a glass and would be best for glass painting. So friends, this time we are going to do a beautiful and simple glass painting on this clock and for that we are going to use Fevacryl glass colors which is water based and available in 10 shades and for glass lining we are going to use camel glass liners which are also water based and they are available in 2 to 3 shades this time I am going to use 261 metallic gold you can also use 262 metallic silver or the bronze color next for completing this clock we are going to need clock hands so this is clock hands for hour and minute and this one is clock hand for second and here we have a clock machine. This is how it looks. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how to fix these clock hands to this clock machine. This complete range is from Clockmaker's Little Birdie. Other than that, to seal our entire clock and painting, we're going to make use of Little Birdie Expo Art Resin, which are available in two parts, clear and hardener. Once the resin is fully cured, it is said to be food grade. Advantage of using this resin is that you don't need an electronic machine to calculate it by weight. It can be done by volume and for that you can simply use a scooping spoon and a mixing uh, bowl with ice cream stick to mix up the resin. Other than that, we are going to need a reference for this painting and this is the beautiful floral print reference I have selected for this painting few cotton buds and a toothpick or a pin to pop out all the bubbles and for numbers either you can use this type of MDF cutout numbers which you can paint using chalk paint or else we can also use this type of beautiful glass balls which are flat from the other side so it is really easy to stick with resin. List of all these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below so that you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code, which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from www.itsybitsy.in. Now let's start the tutorial, friends. First of all, let's start by opening the clock base. So gently peel off the transparent cover from the clock base. There's a manual given on the back side of the clock base which shows you to make the clock step by step how to add keys, how to add hands and machine and everything. So we'll keep this one aside because we'll need it at the end. Then decide the most smooth base, the most clean and clear base. Now using some glass cleaner, clean the base completely before starting this painting. And then using a clean cloth or tissue paper, clean the top surface of the clock in this way. Do the same for other side also.
gently clean the top surface of the glass so that it is clean dust free and oil free and you can start your painting now lift up the clock base place the reference and exactly place the clock base on the design that you want to make make sure that each and every part you're covering properly okay this is exactly in the center and then using tape secure the clock piece with your reference in this way so while lining the clock piece would not move from the design now using 261 metallic gold camel glass liner start doing the lining part Now friends, in the same way, I will complete doing the liner part and then show you how does it looks. Okay. Now after completing the lining part, this is how the design will look. So now I will let it get dry for at least 12 to 14 hours and then show you how does it looks. Okay. Now finally, after 12 hours, our lining part is completely dry. So gently remove all the secured tapes from the base and reference and place the base on a plain horizontal surface so we can start doing the coloring part this is how neat and beautiful the entire lining part looks you can clearly see how beautiful it looks i have knowingly kept the center part empty you can also add a few butterflies or a hummingbird in the center but i'm going to decide it for later on but for now i'm going to keep it empty now let's start coloring using fevacryl glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. First we will start by coloring this flower and for that I am going to use white first. Before starting the coloring make sure that there are no bubbles in the tip of your color and you can gently drop the color using this nozzle. If you are not comfortable with this you can also use a brush to do this part. Bring down the white to half level of the petal. I'm going to use some pink. And then either use a toothpick or a pin like this to mix up both the colors. Now in the same way start coloring the rest of the petals. First add some white. Then mix it with a little bit of pink, add more pink here and then to add a little bit of depth mix some dark pink. So I made this dark pink by mixing a little bit of a blue with pink to get this beautiful shade. This actually gives depth to the entire coloring part. Now you can either use a brush or a pen or a toothpick to mix both the colors. I'm going to do it in this way.
Now using a peach color. Now in the same way, let's color this flower. First I'm using peach on all the lighter parts. Then a little mix of peach and pink. And in the depth, I'll add a little bit of orange. Now let's just mix it up. So now friends, in the same way, we will be coloring all the different flowers in this design. Now let's do a new shading for this flower. First, I'm using white on the light edging part. Then I will use golden yellow. Now add white again, then some golden yellow, I'm going to add orange. And now using a brush, gently mix up the colors. And finally, I'm going to add red. Using a brush, again, mix red with orange. Do the same step for rest of the petals. Finally, I topped up all the edges with some white. And finally, I'll top it up with a little bit of more white. Now this is so beautiful this flower looks when it's finally completed. So in the same way friends, we're going to make the next flower. But for this one, we're going to use peach, pink and red color. First do a little bit of peach for the lighter tone. Then use pink, just a line of it can pop out all the bubbles using brush. Now using this brush, I'll mix pink with peach as much as possible. I think I would like to use a little bit of orange before red. This will give a nice highlight to the entire thing. And finally, I'll add red for the highlight.
and now this is how beautiful the entire flower looks so friends in the same way i'm going to do two to three different shades in each flower and finally show you how all of them look together now this is so beautiful our painting looks when we have finally completed coloring all the beautiful flowers. This time I have given it multiple shades but the concept of coloring is the same for every flower. Each time I have used three to four different shades and finally this is so beautiful beautiful our cloth looks. So now friends let's start coloring the leaves and this tiny small berries. For the berries I'm going to use a few glitters. So here I have added some red glitters in an empty bottle and to make it flowing I'm going to use a red glass color. So this is a fresh new red glass color for equal quantity. Okay close the cap. Now shake the color with glitter very well. Till you get all the glitters mixed up with color and this is how it will look. Now using this red glitter colors start filling up each berry one by one. You can also make these blueberries but I really get attracted to red ones so I'm doing it red. I'm going to use two different colors to color the leaf. The first one is light green and we can make it using a little bit of white, mix it with crystal green and yellow. And the second color I'm going to use is green for which I have mixed just a little bit of yellow with crystal green. And you can also directly use the crystal green color to give the leaves shading. Now I'm using the second light green color in which I have just mixed a little bit of yellow to get this shade. So little change in concentration of colors can make different shades like this. Use a cotton bud to pop out the bubbles and use a brush to mix the colors. After coloring all these beautiful flowers, this is how beautiful our painting look. I have tried giving each one a different shading, but the technique is going to remain the same. And after that friends, we have to let it get dry for at least 24 hours. All the colors get settled properly and you can see this is how beautiful it looks. So now let me reveal you the front side of the painting. When you turn it upside down, and this is how beautiful beautiful it will look with all the lining part you can see how beautiful it looks with the lining part now friends let's move on to our next step that is to seal our glass painting and for that we are going to use little birdie expo art resin which comes in packaging like this once the resin is cured it is said to be food grade this is one of the best resins i like to prefer because it really emits very less amount of fume it is easy to use and very handy so now let's start mixing the resin and the painting side is the side we need to secure for this glass now i have finally completed mixing my resin and this is how beautiful it looks i have added one small scoop of white resin pigment so that it may turn white you can also add some pearly pigment so it may look pearly i'm especially adding white so that we can get a very nice and smooth background for our glass painting which will give it a support and the entire clock will look very nice and bright from the front side so mix the resin pigment very very nicely in this way from all the sides and when you think it's ready to pour you can pour it for the center hole part I have decided to place a cone which will block the resin to flow from the center part so now let's pour some resin if you're not sure about the quantity of resin you can also cover or use a masking tape to cover up all the sides. Now using ice cream stick, I'll spread this resin all around. Now 
Now after spreading resin all around the clock, I'm going to use my gas torch and gently pop out the bubbles. Do not overuse the gas torch. A little torching would be enough. If you are unable to use torch, it's also fine because this resin has an auto bubble release formula. So this will bring all the bubbles on the top. Anyhow, we have to use the front side. So even if you don't have a torch in this case, that will be fine. So now friends, we will let this resin get dry and cure for at least 24 hours. And then I'll show you how does it looks. Okay. Now finally, after 24 hours, this is how our resin pour looks. It is completely dry, completely the resin is cured and I'm so happy that there isn't even a single drop of drip from any sides. Now when the clock piece is ready and this is how beautiful it looks from the front, let's start fixing up the clock. So for that, here we have clock hands. This is clock hand second clock hand hour and clock hand minute clock machine and in the starting of the tutorial I have shown you that and in the starting of the tutorial I have shown you to fix these screw and this kind of hanger to hang the clock but there is one more alternative which would be better for this acrylic clock which is this piece so this is how it looks in this part you can fix up the clock machine and this part can be easily hanged this can be fixed in three different ways the first one is by using screw which you can insert from these two holes to fix up the clock second is you can place a two side tape on this base part which you can easily stick on your clock base and that is applied when your clock base is a really light you can definitely do it on a pvc clock but not on a mdf clock you have to do screw for the mdf clock but for the acrylic base especially when we are doing a resin art or, or we are pouring a resin on our acrylic base i definitely definitely would like to stick this clock base using a resin so for that we have to mix just a little bit of resin like 9 to 10 grams place it in the center part exactly the holes should sit on the hole and place this piece let it get dry for 24 hours so that this piece will be exactly fixed with the acrylic base next is to put the machine you have to do it after 24 hours so this is the machine this is the top face and this is the part where you have to put the hands so if you're new and you have never done a clock making you will notice in this machine there is this golden ring we which you have to take out it comes out of this part insert this from the hole and then insert a battery and you can close it up in this way i'll do this part in the last i'm gently turning it over and then hold the clock exactly where you want to face it like i want it to be here now use this ring and insert it in this way and then tight it up nicely with the clock so you see this is fixed very nicely now i can easily place it like this there are two options for this clock hands i'm going to use the straight one because i'm going to use this wavy one in my next tutorial in which i'm making a beach themed clock now this is the sequence we have to put in this clock hands on this clock machine first will go the hour hand then the minute hand its hole is smaller and finally the second hand which looks like this they have prepared a, such a beautiful setup so there is exact place to fix up the hour hand gently push and you can see it is fixed and finally done this is how beautiful it looks now friends finally you must be thinking of the clock marking now to make the clock markings use a protector like this it also has a round marking exactly right here which exactly fits in this hole so i'm placing it like this i'm going to use a marker and then mark 0 30 60 and 90 Now using the scale, I'm going to extend those markings. 
by joining two dots with a line in this way and making an exact marking at the end. Just to confirm and before placing these crystals, check every marking is it on place or not. Now after making the marks, use some Fabicol. Place just one drop in front of each marking. And then one by one pick up these crystals and place it exactly on the marking. I'm also planning to give it a beautiful crystal center. Now this is so beautiful our clock base looks with these beautiful crystal markings. These are all 12 markings. I have done an inner circle as well as an outer circle for the minute hand because that hand is bigger. And friends, we also completed doing this beautiful centerpiece. So now friends, let me put all the clock hands as I have shown you before and then show you how does it looks. Okay. And this will start running as soon as you place the battery and then set the time according to this wheel. You see, you will move this wheel and the keys are going to move accordingly like this. Now friends, this is how beautiful, beautiful our clock looks when it is finally completed. I absolutely love it everything in this clock and the most important thing i love about it is it is permanent due to the acrylic sheet and the resin we used nothing not even a piece of it will come out and you can definitely use it anywhere in any part of your house as the top is made up of acrylic sheet you can simply spray some glass cleaner and wipe any dust or anything on it it is super easy to clean it is super easy to if you want to change the machine if, if you want to change the hands that is completely your choice i love the center crystal part and the markings i have done these are exact and i'm going to start using this clock because this is definitely definitely going to inspire me for more home decor collection which i'm going to put in the itsy bitsy competition i think everyone should have one piece of clock at least made by yourself so that each time you look at the time you will remember what beauty your hands can create and definitely definitely boost up your confidence to make more and more art and give stability in your life so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching